Hey YouTube, it's your boy Hella. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on my personal setup for my uh, my toolbox uh, for my paintball gears. You know, sometimes your gun messes up, and uh, if you don't have a proper uh, properly set up toolbox, you're not gonna be able to fix it at the field. Your day might end up getting shot, or you may end up having your gun thrown in the repair shop if you're lucky enough to have a repair shop there, and they're gonna charge you an arm and a leg to fix your gun. Uh, and to be honest, it's usually something really simple. Uh, like an O-ring, or just need to get lubed up or something, so it's, you should really have a toolbox with you. Uh, this is mine. People have thousands of different things in theirs. This is just what's in mine at the moment. Uh, there's things that I have that I don't personally have in here right now that uh, I'll go over. Um, but let's get started. I'll show you what I, what I have. Hopefully this helps you. Maybe you're trying to set up your own box, uh, so hopefully this helps out a little bit. Uh, let's take a look. So uh, this is my kit right here. Um... Got my pro my proto and die stickers all over the place. Um, ANSgear.com is pretty much where I buy most of my gear from. Uh, my jerseys and things like that—they're really decent. Um, it's a it's a tool it's a two sided kit. You can see I have a latch over here, uh, and this thing will actually spring open like this. And you have a full sized kit on your hands. Uh, so we'll start on this side, and I'll explain what it is and why I have it in this box. Uh, first things first, this right here, this was the setup that I took off my um, my E-Tech. I had a, a CCU kit come in, so this is my old feed neck, my old back, uh, my old eye covers, uh, a couple things like that. Um, why do I have that here? I just, I really didn't have any place else to put it, and I really didn't want to lose it. Um, so that's why I have that in there. Uh, also have your tubing. Um, to run from like your reg to your ASA. Um, a couple different sizes. I have black, I have some blue, nothing crazy. Um, pen, you never know, just might need a pen, I don't have to tell you. Uh, I have my uh, my freak barrel insert. I have uh, two inserts, actually well, three inserts. Uh, for, uh, for my shocker barrel, I have a uh, freak barrel in my shocker, which is sitting up there next to my, uh, I don't know what's up there. My uh, Pro Flexes and things like that, but my shocker's sleeping right now. Uh, so this is one of the barrels for that. Barrel inserts, I should say. Uh, I'll leave that in there. I have a couple of tiny little Allen keys that I got with, you know, just some random stuff. A screw. Um, this right here. Get that out of here. I want to leave that over here. That's the pin and the spring for the door for my die rotor, and I don't want to lose that, that's for sure. Moving on, we have a couple of giant Allen keys. I have absolutely no use for Allen keys of that size, but they came with my kit, so I was like, what the heck, why not? Uh, good set of Allen keys uh, will take you miles. Um, this is not the set that I personally use for fixing my E-Tech, but I do use it to fix my uh, my shocker. I feel like it gets a little bit better grip on everything. Uh, knife, um, you know, never know when you just might want to cut something. Uh, something quick, fast, and easy. So, good utility knife, always good. Um, just, you know, be careful with things like that. You know, they're sharp. A uh, pair of regular scissors. Uh, yeah, need to cut stuff with, whatever. A pair of pliers. And a pair of new knife pliers. Uh, all, you know, definitely going to have to eventually pull out a, pull out a, uh, a rod or fix something, and you're going to need a good pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, they're probably one of the most important parts of the toolbox is having a good pair of Allen keys and a good pair of needle nose pliers. Moving on, I have the setup kit here: some O-rings, razor blade, my uh, my chrono wrench. This is all for my shocker. Um, it also works for ions and things like that, but I don't have an ion. I have a shocker, so that's what it's for. <laughs> Put that back in here. Uh, a couple little screwdrivers. Um, there's really no need to have a giant screwdriver because um, there's nothing on your gun that should really be all that big. Uh, a couple of mini ones, um, flat heads, Phillips heads, it's all good. Um, as well as little things that you might just want to hold on to. Um, I have electrical tape in here just in case. Um, it's an electric gun, so who knows? You might need electrical tape. This right here is actually the manual for the firing settings on my shocker. Uh, so you never know. You might want to just change your settings. You might forget something. What the heck are you going to do? You're not going to be able to fix it or set it up the way you want. So that's the best place for me to put it. It's right in my toolbox where I'll never lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this tubing back in here. I'll throw my kit back in here. There's my tubes and my pen. And we can say adios to this part of my kit. 
And moving on to this side. First thing I have in here is a bottle of Aleve. Because who wants to freaking be in pain? You have a headache or some stupid shit like that, and you're going to have a headache all day? No, I bring some Aleve with you to the field. I have a whole bunch of batteries. 9 volts, 9 volts, and a bunch of AA batteries. Um, in case your hopper dies, in case the battery in your gun starts to go, uh, you should always have backup batteries. Uh, as well as Q-tips. I have a lot of Q-tips in here. Um, in case you need, if you get shot in the eyes, you want to take the, uh, the pain out of your eyes on your gun. Uh, you get shot in the trigger, as I have. It's, it's just a pain. You don't want to keep shooting the gun with a whole bunch of paint in your trigger. Um, so I went ahead and put a whole bunch of uh, a bunch of Q-tips in there. This is actually my backup ASA. Uh, it's it's for my shocker. Um, I can get it on my E-Tech if I need to. I'd rather not, though. It's, it's a smart parts piece. I'd rather just use it for my shocker. Um, the, the grease that I use, the actual oil for my... My E-Tech is in my E-Tech box. Here's my, the box for my E-Tech. And uh, I'll just pop this open real fast. But I actually have my Allen keys that I use specifically for my E-Tech. And the oil that I use specifically for my E-Tech. Yes, I know this isn't the bottle it comes with, but I lost the bottle that it comes with, so I had to get something else when I'm in my time. Um, this, in case you're interested, this is my beautiful e -tech. I love him. I love her deeply. She shoots fantastically. Um, super accurate, super quick. Uh, it's virtued. Um, so you know, it's, it's a great gun. It's, it's fantastic. I would I would have popped the extra bucks for the uh, for the e -tech three brand new, maybe an all metal one. But as you know, I like to shop around. I don't like to just buy something on impulse. And I found a guy selling this guy for. Uh, I think I bought this for two two hundred or something along those lines. So. Um, Brand new. What's a what's a what's an E Tech three brand new like five hundred five fifty. So I feel like I made out really well. This gun's fantastic. Uh, so anyway, we can put this guy away. That's not really the point of the video. Um, but that's where I keep my oil, just because it's specifically for that gun. Um, anything else that would have to get lubed up, like some parts of the uh, inside the regulator, uh, you don't really want to use oil per se. Uh, so you, I have my uh, Smart Parts Sleek. Um, and yeah, it's a Smart Parts product, but the um, the item is actually a Dow 33 uh, lubricant, it's a silicone lubricant, uh, and that's what you want to use as far as grease goes. I don't really love all these other different kinds. Dow 33 is really the way to go for most for most guns, not all, but but for most. Uh, that's pretty much a walkthrough of my kit. Um, some things that I don't have in here that I usually have in here, right here, in this little piece right here, I'll usually have napkins or paper towels uh, to wipe off things. Uh, I actually have a um, a little mini chamois. That folds up and fits perfectly right in this little thing right here. And that's perfect for cleaning off your gun, cleaning off your lenses. Uh, my lens wipe, which is in a tiny little uh, bottle, usually fits right in here. Uh, and another set of 9 volts are usually right up in there. Uh, and that's pretty much my toolkit. It's not the biggest, the most baddest kit in the whole world, but I tell you what, it serves me right at the field. And it's easy to carry. It fits in my box. I mean, I'm sorry, it fits in my, uh, my bag, and it works out great for me. I've never had a problem that I couldn't fix right at the field. So, uh, that's pretty much what I got. Uh, if you have any questions, if you think there's something that maybe you think I should put in here, uh, please, don't be afraid. Give me a, give me a holler, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, comment right down there. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. Um, that's all I got for you. I was gone, dude.